Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're tackling a big question that every new mom asks, how long should I breastfeed my baby? It's a personal decision, but I want to give you all the information you need to make the best choice for you and your little one. Now, let's get straight to the point. Experts in health organizations like the World Health Organization WHO and the American Academy of Pediatrics AAP have some recommended reasons exclusive risk to find for the first six months. This means only breast milk, no formula, no water, no juice. Breast milk is perfectly designed for your baby's needs at this stage, providing all the nutrients and antibodies they need to grow and thrive. Continued breastfeeding with complementary foods up to two years or beyond. After six months, you can start introducing solid foods alongside breast milk. But breast milk remains a vital source of nutrition and immune support. Think of it as a superhero food. Benefits of extended breasted for babies, reduce risk of ear infections, respiratory illnesses, allergies, diarrhea, and sudden infant death syndrome SIDS stronger immune system, better cognitive development, and lower risk of childhood obesity. For mothers, reduce risk of breast and ovarian cancers, type 2 diabetes, and postpartum depression. Stronger emotional bond with baby. Okay, but what about beyond two years? There's no official end date for breastfeeding. Research shows continued benefits for both moms and babies even past two years. It's a personal decision, and you and your child should determine what feels right for your family. Addressing common concerns, milk supply isn't enough. Talk to a lactation consultant. They can help you assess your supply and offer strategies to increase it. What about going back to work? You can absolutely continue breastfeeding while working. Pumping, storing, and using breast milk at daycare is totally doable. Isn't breastfeeding painful? Some discomfort is normal at the beginning, but it shouldn't be painful. If you're experiencing pain, seek help from a lactation consultant or your pediatrician. What about pressure from family or society? Remember, this is your decision. You know what's best for you and your baby. Don't let others pressure you. Remember, every breastfeeding journey is unique. Be kind to yourself, trust your instincts, and don't hesitate to seek support from healthcare professionals or lactation consultants. And always prioritize what works best for your family. Leave a comment below and share your breastfeeding story. Did you meet your feeding goals? What challenges did you face? Let's support each other on this amazing journey.